Hey guys, today in this video, I will be showing you how to set up VLANs to connect OpenWRT and PFSense. So this is really useful if you want to set up a dumb access point and just have your clients get connected directly to your main router, which is in this case PFSense. I made a video on this last year and they have actually updated OpenWRT since then. This process does work currently, but I'm not sure if they plan to change OpenWRT in the future with the way this works. So just leave a comment down below if you have any issues and let's go ahead and get started. First step is to actually set up your VLANs. So I'm gonna come over here to interfaces and assignments and we're gonna set up a new VLAN here. You can see I've already got a couple. We're gonna do VLAN 21. I'm just gonna name this open to BRT. So now we're gonna come over here to interface assignments and you can see I've got the interface right here now. So we'll go ahead and add that in here. We'll go ahead and name this one open WRT. We'll enable it and set up static IPv4. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do 10.5.1.1 for this just to keep it simple. Um, and we'll do a slash 24. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and save that and apply those changes now. Okay, so now that that is done, we're gonna go ahead and come over here to services and DHCP server, and we'll find that new interface and we'll go ahead and enable it. So I've gone ahead and enabled that server and set up my range here. Um, the first step is to obviously make sure that uh, if you have a network switch in between OpenWRT and your main router, you wanna make sure the VLAN is passing through that switch. So do whatever configuration is necessary for that. I'm not gonna walk y'all through that for this because every switch is different. Or you could just plug your OpenWRT router directly into your main router. So now we'll go ahead and come over here to switch at the top. You can see I've already set up a VLAN in here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add another one. Now you can see it's gone ahead and added a number four here. I'm gonna change this to 21 though. And we'll go ahead and tag it on the CPU and we'll tag it on the WAN port, which is the port that I'm using to connect this to PFSense. If you're using one of your LAN ports, just tag it there instead. So now we'll go ahead and save that and apply. And now that that's done, you can see we've got 10 and 21. Those are our two VLANs that we have set up. Now we can come over here to network and interfaces. And you can see, um, if we go over here to devices, we have a new uh, ETH 0 0.21 uh, interface in here. That's our, our new um, VLAN that we just set up. So we're gonna add a device configuration in here. We're gonna do a bridge, which is basically just a virtual dumb switch that it creates. Uh, we'll name this VLAN 21. Now the reason we have to set up a virtual switch like this is because the access point portion of OpenWRT is separate from the actual routing portion of OpenWRT. Now it did not used to be like this. They used to be connected and that was all fine and great, but now it's different. And so we have to create a switch to actually connect the routing portion of OpenWRT to the access point portion. So now we'll go ahead and save this and we'll save and apply. And you can see in here, we've got VLAN 21. It's a bridge device. Now we're gonna come over here to interfaces and add a new interface. We're gonna select that bridge setup that we have in here for VLAN 21. We'll name this VLAN 21. It's gonna be a DHCP client. Now we can go ahead and come over here to firewall settings. And I've already created a firewall for this. Um, it, you don't really have to, you can just put it on the LAN firewall zone if you want, and it'll be fine. Um, now you can see if I apply this, it should go ahead and pull an IP address from the router. And you can see we've got 10.5.1.3. So now we'll come over here to network and wireless and I'll go ahead and create a new one here. We'll use the five gigahertz band here. Okay, so now we have a new SSID right here called Tech Pro. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it on my phone and I'll show you guys the connection in PFSense. Okay, so I have now connected on my phone. You can see right here, Master Tech Pro. Uh, that's the SSID right there. So if I come over here to PFSense and I go over to DHCP leases, I should see right here, this is my phone. Um, that's my phone's MAC address right there and it is connected and working. So uh, we're all good to go. That is how you set up VLANs with OpenWRT. If you have any questions or concerns, please drop them down below in the comments section and I will do my best to respond to most, if not all of them. Um, it's a little bit of a complicated setup because they redid the way OpenWRT works a little bit, but not a big deal. Uh, just watch this video carefully and you should be able to do it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.